Hello everyone, my name is George Espinosa. I'm here with you again to share with you some insights on this second bimester listening and speaking assignment. I was giving a set of three videos in which I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about each one of them. In the first video is called, Is Public Transportation the Answer? In the video, the speaker talks about that even though we have made some incredible technological ad transportation advancements in the last 50 years, those advancements haven't been able to solve some of the biggest problems in the big cities, such as poverty, inequality, unemployment. But the speaker proposes that by rethinking our roads, this can help us solve some of the biggest problems. Unfortunately, trying to solve some of these problems can be challenging because we're dealing with the ultimate factor, which is the human factor. As you already know, human nature is complex. This is why city planners have been able to conduct uh, case studies. One of these case studies was conducted in the city of um, Ohio because Ohio has lost half, its, half of its population in the last 50 years. So nowadays, the city of Ohio has created three large bus stations that work as major transportation hubs for the people creating better accessibility. And the speaker um, uh, discovered that by having better accessibility, this has minimized uh, consequently the impact of these social issues. Another case study that backs this up was conducted by the University of Portland that basically establishes the same thing. So basically the speaker concludes that by having better accessibility to public transportation system, this can help us minimize and solve some of the biggest problems in society. The second video talks about how to avoid car crashes and accidents. In the video, the speaker talks about that, how when it comes to driving, it is completely crucial for the driver to remain alert and not to get distracted and have good judgment at all times. Especially because distraction has become one of the major subjects when it comes to uh, car crashes and fatalities because nowadays people's, people, drivers are talking on the phone, they are texting, they are calling, they are checking their friend's statuses and they get distracted and they get into car accidents. So it is completely vital for a driver to completely remain alert and not distracted at all, especially because most, most drivers, they expect the second people to react first in case of a, an emergency situation. But the responsible driver is the one who is the one who has to has the upper hand and react first and be prepared for any kind of, of, of um, emergency situation. In the video, the speaker also gives us a very thorough list on how to avoid car crashes and how to handle the car in major situations. One of the suggestions that she gave was the clockwise, clockwise position 10 and 2 clockwise position on the steering wheel. So the speaker concludes that in order for a good driver to avoid car accidents, he should, he should be able to oversee an emergency situation ahead of time, be prepared, be alert, and have the proper judgment to know how to control the car in case of an emergency situation. The third video is called Traffic Solutions 30 Seconds at a Time. In the video, the speaker talks about that uh, how um, the impact that traffic has in our lives. According to a recent study conducted in the United States, it showed that 4.2 billion hours are wasted on seating congested traffic that most people that drive in the United States spend during their lives. So uh, the according, according to the speaker, he has conducted a deep analysis on how traffic forms, how it works, and he also has been conducting an analysis on trying to find traffic solutions. But he says in order for us to find traffic solutions, we need to make changes in the system. But as you already know, trying to make changes in the system can have an adverse condition because if you find a solution for one thing, there's, there's something else comes up, and all of this costs a lot of money. This is why traffic engineers are working hard, like really, really hard, on trying to understand how traffic forms, depending on road capacity and or road, on, on roads capabilities. So these traffic engineers have been working really hard on developing technologies such as um, the highway technologies and modern technologies in cars like automated control, 
automatic uh, braking, automatic steering, cruise control, implementing better technologies in the cars. So by having better technology in the cars and better and having a better system in our, in our road system, this can definitely help us minimize those 4.2 4 billion hours that I wasted sitting in congested traffic. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. See you guys in the next video.